Guys, in today's video, we have a crazy, a massive, pause on that, but we have a crazy battle styles opening for today's video. We're going to be opening up a bunch of brand new products that released for this new Pokemon card set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, everybody, I got two words for y'all. Battle Styles. Yes, we are opening up a ton of Battle Styles booster packs in today's video. We're opening up everything from Elite Trainer Boxes, Collection Boxes, Regular Booster Packs, you name it, it will be in this video so right in front of me we got a three pack blister featuring the jolteon promo card we're gonna start things off with this specific product but before we get into the opening itself let me show you the other products that we're opening up in today's video so one of the products we got is the urshifu v box this is the single strike version and the next one we got is obviously the Rapid Strike version. And then we got the infamous treasure chest of battle styles. And then we got a very beautiful red elite trainer box. Unfortunately, I didn't get the blue one, but it's coming. You feel me? So eventually we'll open that up as well. And last but not least, we got the Blastoise VMAX Battle Box. Same issue as the ETB. I didn't get my hands on the Venusaur, but I ordered it and it's on its way. So without further ado, let's get into the actual opening, shall we? So guys, like I said, we're opening up a ton of products, so I hope you are ready for today's video, if you guys are, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. Let's try and get this video to at least 500 likes. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the ghoul army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below, y'all already know the drill. But let's go ahead and jump right into the first product, which is this three pack blister and yes i know i'm missing some products but think of this as the launch party opening of battle styles we're gonna get through everything eventually and what i don't open in this video we're eventually gonna get it you feel me so let's go ahead and just jump right into this three pack blister and let's see how many ultras from battle styles can i pull you feel me let's go ahead and do a little game as a matter of fact how many ultras do you think i'm going to get in this video i'm not sure how many booster packs i have maybe i have a booster box worth i'm honestly not sure but my guess is a total of 10 ultras in this video let me know your guesses in the comments down below but guys check this out we have the beautiful jolteon promo card looking happy as ever that right there is adorable indeed and then obviously we have the code card and then it looks like they're still giving out these shaman coins like come on man where is the variety my guy over like 800 pokemon and they still can't get some new faces on some coins my guy so let's go ahead and start with the first booster pack which is an empoleon pack art and unfortunately we're not going to be doing the pack trick because let's be honest bro i have a ton of packs a ton of product to open up i can't just do the pack trick the video will be like one hour long if that was the case so first pack guys let's see what's inside we got a vivalon reverse followed by a crobat holographic y'all check that out i actually really like crobat one of my most favorite pokemon of all time ever since it got introduced in the johto region so definitely an og right there because if it wasn't for crobat i wouldn't have zubat and golbat in my pokemon team i'm gonna be 100 honest with you guys so let's keep the show rolling guys we got a Ponyard. And we got a Mian Chao regular rare. So nothing too crazy in that pack. But this is just a three-pack blister. So 
My hopes are not too high. I prefer single blister packs over the three pack blisters. We got the more Peko in the cut, followed by the clay doll holographic. Not a hollow, I'm stupid. It's a regular rare. Get it through your thick skull, Dark Ghoul. But alrighty guys, we got through the introduction product of the video and unfortunately all we pulled is a holographic and then we have our promo card of Jolteon. So let's move on to product number two and let's hope we have some better luck there. Alrighty guys, so for the next product, we actually got into the Rapid Strike Collection box. So that basically means the next one after this is going to be the Single Strike, AKA Red versus Blue. So check this out. You get a Rapid Strike Energy card, which is nothing special because it is from the set, but you do get this promo card of Urshifu V. Check that out with the spiral kick and sonic legs. That right there is beautiful. And then obviously you guys know in collection boxes, you get a jumbo version of that promo card and y'all already know that's nothing special, you feel me? We are here for the booster packs themselves and we got Darkness Ablaze, two battle styles, and then we have Crimson Invasion. I'd rather have Crimson Invasion over Steam Siege, bro. 100%. And then, obviously, you guys get a code card for the online TCGO. But since Battle Styles is the newest set, we'll save those for last. Since this video is basically based around Battle Styles itself. So, let's get it, man. And let's see what we get. So, obviously, you guys get a code card. And for the first pack... We got nothing. Just an innocent, fluffy cloud as our final card. So pack number two, we got Darkness Ablaze. Y'all know Darkness Ablaze, it's a good set. In my opinion, Darkness Ablaze is a very, very good set. Here is a Draco Vish followed by a Manectric. So now all we got left is two Battle Styles booster packs and so far, we have not pulled a single ultra rare in today's video, which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. So we got an ore beetle followed by a bronzong holographic. I love Crobat more than bronzong. So we're definitely going to leave Crobat as the star of the show. So final pack for this collection box. Don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty. I beg of you. Let's see, man. Let's see. We got our first ultra rare. It is an Empoleon V ultra rare, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Y'all know I am a huge Empoleon fan. My favorite Sinnoh starter, and that artwork is beautiful and stunning. Definitely going to put that as the new star of the show. That is an emperor, if you don't already know how one looks check that out we finally got some ice for the star of the show but we're not going to dwell on that too long because at the end of the day it's still just a regular v card nothing too crazy so next up we got ourselves the single strike energy reverse card followed by the single strike urshifu v ultra rare promo card with low kick and brawny knuckles check that out a very very nice piece and then obviously you guys know you get a jumbo version of that promo card and then finally you got yourself a very nice code card for the online tcgo and it looks like the packs are exactly the same so we're gonna do the exact same order from my least favorite to my most favorite so obviously right now battle styles is my most favorite set but I'm pretty sure after we open up a decent amount of battle styles, Darkness Ablaze is definitely going to be on top over battle styles, in my opinion. I love the Pokemon that's in Darkness Ablaze a lot more than battle styles itself. So we got ourselves a Manectric regular rare, and now we're down to our two final battle styles packs. Let's hope there's some heat in these packs, bro. Let's hope there's some heat. We only got one Ultra Air so far. Let's see. We got a Cricketune V Ultra Rare. And this is the card that you can literally hear, my guy. Stay quiet. Stay quiet for like a couple seconds and you can hear this card. Watch. Y'all heard that? 
Y'all heard that? Please tell me y'all heard that because I did. As soon as I pull this card, that is what I hear in my ears, bro. So we got ourselves an ultra, which is good because it adds to the ultra rare pile. Nothing too crazy so far yet, but it's all good because we still got a decent amount of products left to go. So here is another code card for y'all right there. And we got ourselves an Electivire regular rare. So this box was definitely more disappointing than the first one, but it's all good guys because we still got more things to open up. Alrighty guys, the next product we got is actually the treasure chest. And I actually wanted to show you guys the back of this chest, the colors on the back. It looks so good, but I would have preferred a different Pokemon than Embor right there. Maybe like a Magmortar or something like that. But let's see what comes inside this treasure chest, guys. This is like opening up a bunch of heat. So the first two items we got, it looks like they are jumbo coins of the single strike and rapid strike Urshifu. So that's actually pretty, pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. And then next up, we got ourselves a promo card of Tepig. And then we also have another promo card of a Shinx. So that's actually pretty cool. Actually, hold up. These are not promo cards. These are just straight from the set with special foil patterns. So before we continue, let me go ahead and take out everything from this chest. Alrighty, y'all, not too much left in that chest. We got ourselves a mini binder, which is very, very nice to get. I love getting binders, you know, storage for cards themselves. You got some nice, very vibrant stickers right here. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of stickers, so those are definitely nice in my book. And then obviously you get a very nice notepad right there to write some notes and what not you feel me and then obviously you guys can have the code card but let's check out the pack selection my guy let's see what we got let's see what we're working with we got battle styles vivid voltage that's a good one sword and shield base this is like a throw in we got battle styles and sun and moon base so we got three nice sets and then we have two sets that are meh so let's obviously start things off with sun and moon base itself and let's see what we're working with, baby. Can we get like a secret rare, a full art, or something along those lines? We got a drowsy, and we have a secret rare Lapras. The Pokey Gods literally listened to me, bro. The Pokey Gods listened to ya, boy. And we got that Lapras GX, baby. Oh my gosh, that is nice right there. Let's go ahead and put that as a star of the show. That right there is a secret rare, my guy. A beautiful secret rare, might I add. Every Friday, I go catch myself a Lapras GX. I was not expecting that. I was honestly not expecting a secret rare, but I will take it, bro. I will take it indeed. So, Sword and Shield Base... We got a Frostmoth regular holographic. I was about to say regular rare, but that right there is a holographic, not a regular rare. But next up, we got Vivid Voltage, which actually has like a Lugia that's worth over $300 right now, bro. Yeah, a Lugia that's worth over $300 ungraded that's basically why vivid voltage is going up in price because not only is there a chunky pikachu in the set there is also another chase card within the set itself bro which is absolutely insane so next pack we got ourselves some battle styles we got a hone edge followed by a big teeny v max and y'all know i am a huge fan of Victini, and this right here is a textured VMAX Victini. Should it take down the Lapras Secret Rare, though? I don't know, bro. I don't know. This is a tough one. A brand new Pokemon card or a Secret Rare? We're gonna leave the Secret Rare because it's a Secret Rare Lapras, bro. The Victini might be worth more because of the hype and because it's a new card, but the Lapras is definitely much harder to pull compared to the Victini. So let's move on to the final pack of this treasure chest. We got a Drampa. We got a Drampa regular rare. Shouts out to Drampa though. I love that Pokemon. Don't get it twisted. But guys, 
It's Elite Trainer Box time. So like I said, it's Elite Trainer Box time. This is everything that you literally get from an Elite Trainer Box. You got ourselves your dividers. I dropped the fourth one, but I'm too lazy to pick it up. But just know the quality of dividers are actually improving as new sets release. So I actually really like that. Here is the code card right there for the ghoul army. We got ourselves some red dice and some poison and burn counters, which basically means if you get the other version, the blue elite trainer box, everything is just blue instead of red, my guys. So it basically depends on preference. And then next up, we got ourselves some very, very nice sleeves, which is my favorite part of an elite trainer box. You get your energies, and then obviously you have the booster packs themselves, which is all battle styles. And then another fun thing to get from Elite Trainer Boxes is actually the little pamphlet or booklet that comes in the box itself because you can basically know what's in this set. But we're going to go straight to the back and we're going to look at all of the heat, bro. And check this out. There is a lot of heat. We got a ton of alternate artworks, full arts, all of that jazz. You name it, it's here, my guy. And then obviously we have some rainbow rares towards the back as well as full art trainer cards which are absolutely insane and not to mention my most wanted card from this set is the houndoom secret gold card so we are going to get it in today's video whether you like it or not you feel me so let's get it man let's open up some battle styles and let's hope that we can get that houndoom chase card because that's basically my most wanted card that I want. So let's get it, man. We got ourselves a Houndoom. Speaking of Houndoom, this is a sign right here that we are going to get that Houndoom gold card in this video. That's a sign. That is Lord Helix telling me that that secret rare is coming. It is coming, bro. So we got a Pawniard, Tower of Darkness, followed by a Flapple Full Art, bro. That right there is beautiful because I love both evolutions of Applin, bro. They are both so amazing and they're very underrated. Lapras, I love you. I love you. Don't get it twisted. I love you. But we got to put this beautiful Flapple V as a star of the show. Very underrated Pokemon. A lot of people hated on this evolution line, bro. And I have no idea why. Is it because it's an apple? Is it because it's healthy for you, bro? Like, the evolution line is amazing. In my opinion, obviously, because a lot of people say different. But let's get it, man. Let's keep let's keep the show rolling and let's see what else we can get, bro. Let's see. We got ourselves a Vivalon regular rare. I'm hyped right now, bro. If you cannot tell. We got a full art and a Houndoom holographic right off the bat. Talk about crazy combos, my guy. So let's get it in this next pack. We got a colossal holographic and that artwork is beautiful man look at that it looks like you know colossal is godzilla on this artwork i'm not even gonna lie that's the best way to put it it's huge in that artwork so let's keep the show rolling with the next battle styles pack which does have empoleon on the pack art we got a buffalon and we have a single strike urshifu v max bro I believe these are some very expensive cards. All of the Urshifu cards have value. Let's just leave it at that. Even the regular Vs have value. So Flapple, I'm sorry. You know I mess with Flapple heavy, but we got to put the true king of the throne on this star of the show. And I'm kind of glad that the Ultra Rares are starting to pick up because... Your boy was low-key getting kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. I was getting sad because we were getting no Ultra Rares in today's video. But check that out. We got a very nice Carnivine right there, followed by a Jellicent. So we got two packs left. We'll save Titar for last. And this right here is the second to last pack. And before anybody in the comments be like, Yo, why are you buying out all of the product from the store? Hold your horses because... This is all of the product I got from release day, and that is like going through eight plus stores, bro. So that basically means in some stores, I got zero items, but most of them, I just got one to two items per store. And in my opinion, that is little 
to nothing, you feel me? Especially when I went to over eight stores in one single day. So the final pack literally just had a Bolton regular rare. That is unfortunate, but at least we got two very amazing pulls to add to the collection. But guys, that also means we're gonna open up our final product and that is the Blastoise box. Alrighty guys, check this out. We got a Blastoise VMAX Ultra Rare. That right there is beautiful, man. I wish I had the Venusaur VMAX side by side because they both look absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, Venusaur had to take a rain check. So we got ourselves the Blastoise. Beautiful card right there. We have the code card and then we have these beautiful sleeves, bro. Look at these sleeves. They're simple, but they're strong. It's vibrant. I love it, bro. I absolutely love it. And then obviously we have a jumbo version of that Blastoise VMAX. But let's see the pack selection that we got, bro. We got ourselves some battle styles, darkness ablaze, and then we have sun and moon base. I actually like the fact that they added some sleeves instead of a fifth booster pack for this box. I feel like that is much better than having a fifth pack, in my opinion, obviously. But these right here are the final packs of today's video. Let's hope that we can end things off in a bang, starting things off with some sun and moon base, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Sun and moon base, you let me down like always. You let me down. When was there a time you never let your boy down? But we got Darkness of Blades. We might get a Charizard in this pack. Never mind, because it's a green code, and y'all know, in most cases, green codes means you got nothing. So we got two battle styles left. Two chances at getting the secret rare Houndu. Let's see how it goes, y'all. Let's see how it goes. I really wish that they added Ultra Rares when there's a green code. Like, it doesn't matter what set it is. I really wish that was the case. But unfortunately, it's not. And it all comes down to this final pack of Destiny. Let's see what's in it, y'all. Thank you, Lord Helix. Thank you. We're going to do the pack trick for this one, y'all. Let's go ahead and put four to the front. Is this four? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see what's our final card, guys. We got the Scroll of Swirls. Tell me why these scrolls have much better artwork than a ton of other cards within the set, bro. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. We got the Horsey, just straight chilling. We got a Lickitung, Electabuzz. We got an Esper. We got Camping Gear. I don't know why I said the name so excited, but we got Camping Gear. And the final card in this video is a secret rare no i'm just kidding it's just a bronze on holographic a duplicate holographic i might add so guys that's gonna do it for the packs themselves now the real question is how many ultra rares did we get in this video we're about to find out right now guys we're not counting the promo cards. So we got one, we got a Flapple, two, we got a Lapras, three, we got a Victini, four, we got an Empoleon, five, we got a Cricketune. What else? What else? Don't tell me that's it, bro. Do not tell me that is it. Okay. So we got exactly one, two, three, four, five, six ultra rares in today's video. That is honestly quite unfortunate because I was expecting way more Ultra Rares than what we got. My guess was 10 and we weren't even close. But guys, I really hope you did enjoy this launch party video for Battle Styles, opening up a ton of product that released on March 19th. Without further ado, guys, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you guys want more. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.